it's CEO here, and today we're going to explore glitched items. Items so powerful, they can break your game. These items are not like the rest, and possess abilities that you've never seen in Animal Crossing. Subscribe for more videos like this one, and let's get right into it. So here we have a store shelf. As you can see, it doesn't really look like a store shelf. It's flashing rapidly. Now, if you are sensitive to flashing lights, do not watch the rest of this video because this item will be flashing throughout the entire thing, but I gotta show you this because it is technically a glitched item, also known as a camo item, short for camouflage item. These were really popular in 2020. They are a glitched item that you can only make with a modded switch and reportedly Nintendo patched them out, but I guess they're back because here I have one. I didn't even, I must've made this item and I was making this boba shop and I'm putting out some store shelves and boom, this item was glitching all over the place. So camo items pick up patterns from nearby items instead of showing their own pattern. So if you could see, it's kind of picking up this like green, it looks like a tree bark. I don't know what this pattern is. You would see like chips and cans with like a store branding, you know, from like the chip aisle in the grocery store, stuff like that. As you can see, it's definitely not that. Right here, it's picking up the patterns from the glowing moss balls, the green one and the pink one, because those are the two I have out. You can also see that, you know, that, that um, plain wooden shop sign that is also glitching, having a good old time over there. It's also one of my glitched items. I can make a whole video about the shop sign. You can see now it's really flash and it's picking up the pink, lime green, and green moss balloon patterns, textures. It looks really cool. I named this island Moon Velvet and its theme is Tropical Rave Core. So flashing lights like this are perfect, perfect for the theme, which is why I love these glitched items. Definitely a, a permanent part of my island. Hopefully Nintendo never patches it out. Nintendo, please do not watch this video. When I go into handheld mode with the camera, it doesn't flash. It's only picking up the, the lime green moss balloon, none of the others. I think it's because actually in the back uh, right corner, that was in frame. But now that the rest of the balloon colors are in frame, well, now the item's not flashing. All right, let me take these away. Oh, there it is. Also, the flashing is determined by how close I am to the item. Here it is. Now it's only flashing the green, pink, and lime green. I took away the blue balloon. And I'm just trying to like walk around and see exactly what's going on. If I put the balloon closer, it just matters if the balloon is in frame, not necessarily how close it is. And again, when I go the handheld, it stops flashing. You can really see how the textures Nintendo ads really make these items pop. So right now it looks cool, but those certainly don't look like anything I would see on a store shelf. Need some EDM right here. Unza, 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 unza. Yeah, store shelf. Go, go, go. Beautiful. I love you, store shelf. I wish you could make items like this. I know be like, oh, it's, it's too flashy to have in a game like this for like people who are sensitive to that. After making this video, after filming this, I kind of was getting a headache because I was looking at the store shelf for so long. Oh yeah, here I'm trying to see the threshold for how far I can walk when there is point of no return when the item stops flashing. I'm grabbing a net from my storage because with the net you can actually take smaller increments of steps. The store shelf is like that tree bark texture, but if I walk slow enough, I should see it flash any second, any second. There we go. But then the interesting thing is when I walk back towards the shelf, the point of no return is seemingly not there. It's different. I can keep going and it's still flashing. So how these glitched items truly work is a mystery to me. It seems like there's no pattern. It's not consistent. I just put the white moss blue. Now the items are picking up the green, the pink, the blue, the white, and the lime green. I wish the item could just like stay like this forever. Before Nintendo patched out the camo items, you could have crescent moon chairs. Those could be made into these glitched items. And it was so pretty. And some of my really, really old YouTube YouTube videos, you can see the glitched crescent moon chair. So definitely let me know in the comments if you're one of those few special people who have seen those videos. Let me know, let me know. Also, if you love Boba, let me know in the comments. And the item is still flashing all the way back there. All the colors, the moss balloons, yet the pink and the blue were only ones in shop. So as soon as I pick up those balloons, I only see the green, white, pink, and lime green lashing. So it appears that the festival balloon has no effect on the camo item. I was wondering maybe if it's balloon items in general have an impact it's not balloons. I it, it's the moss. The moss items are just special, apparently. My beauty, my store shelf beauty. It reminds me of going to a rave. So now all the balloons are in frame, but yet the item isn't flashing. There's no pattern. It doesn't make any sense to me. When I put down a regular store shelf that is not glitched, the camo item, the glitched item, starts to pick up on its pattern it's supposed to have. So not only will it flash between the textures of the moss balloons and the like weird tree bar pattern, it also picks up the regular store shelf pattern. 
pattern. That also has an effect. A glitched item in the vicinity of a non-glitched version of itself makes it extra glitch. So fast forward to the next day, I haven't changed anything and the same glitched door shelf is no longer flashing the textures of the moss balloon. It looks like I picked up one of the custom boba designs I have in my boba shop. Now this makes zero sense to me because all I did was change the date and yet the glitch item is functioning completely differently. It's like the rules of glitch items don't exist. I also really couldn't tell which custom design it was picking up. I have two pretty similar custom boba designs, both with mint backgrounds. So let me know in the comments which custom design you think the store shelf is picking up. I thought it was this one on the wooden box, but now looking back, I think it was the one that's on that cube light and the backlit sign. No matter what I did, I could not get it to flash. I was running all over the place and nothing, but a non glitch store shelf, it will actually make the glitch one flash. So here we go. This was the only way I was able to get it to pulse like that. And the farther I move away, it turned brown and black. And when I put another store shelf near my house, it was a completely different color. The colors changed between white and this tan color and also this like mint green brown color, which I have no clue where it's picking up. I also put some store shelves closer to my entrance and here they start off solid gray, but then they start flashing between blue and purple and green. And I think it's picking up the custom designs of my cube lights. And when I talk to Igly, that completely goes away. And now it looks like some metal. Sometimes I do know what patterns it's picking up and sometimes I have no clue. I'm almost wondering if there's some textures that are hidden in the game that Nintendo uses on the back end, but we can't see, but somehow they're uncovered with these glitched items. All four store shelves in this area are all picking up the same patterns. And when I move, they turn back to gray, white, metal color. With the glitch store shelf, I also wondered what would happen if I try to customize it at a DIY table, since the bags and cans on this item can be customized. It's not supposed to look like this. What we have is just a red base where the normal chips and canned food textures are supposed to be. I select one of these other designs and then I go back to the first one. It cancels out the glitch. So basically I've unglitched this item. I'm gonna back out so I don't revert my glitched item. I also wanna show you what happens when I bring it to Reese and Cyrus on Harv's Island. Cyrus can customize not only only the bags and chips, but the actual structure of the store shelf. Here you go, Cyrus. So we have the same thing with the bags. They're all red. Here I can customize that structure color, but the displayed items are all grayed out. There should be at least one paintbrush that is filled in, like this first one in the color, but it's not. The game can't even process that the bags are glitched. If I press down on my controller, the selector is supposed to go to displayed items, but it goes straight to the order button. And then my selector is stuck. If I try to move up and down with my controller, it won't move. It's completely frozen. The only options I have now are to press B to go back and A to select. Now I don't want to accidentally customize this item because I don't know what it'll do to my game. So I immediately backed out before anything else broke. Otherwise my game is just frozen. It's kind of scary. This glitch item can actually break your game. You gotta be careful with these items. They can really mess up your island. As long as you're careful, they're fine. And that's a look on how glitch items work in Animal Crossing. There are many more glitched items that I can make in this game. And I'll do videos about the most interesting ones. If you enjoy live stream content, follow my Twitch channel where I do Animal Crossing live streams Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 6 p.m. p.m. 9 p.m. ET. If you want to learn how to move your plaza, check out this video right here. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.